hello it's Anne Murphy here how are you today Sunday morning and I'm just ducking into Coles to pick up my online order uh, it's a lot less than what I would normally spend for my first week of my fortnight of shopping because I'm mixing things up a little bit again um, this fortnight uh, something that I've been wanting to check out and that's another uh, um, grocery outlet store that we have here in Brisbane called The Lighthouse. It seems to get a lot of reviews. Now um, grocery outlet shops are, are around most capital cities and some regional areas and this one is very similar I've found to um, looking at what they have online to buy. Very similar to the ones that um, or the grocery items that I pick up at my local Golden Circle um, grocery outlet store but this particular uh, shop the lighthouse has a $25 trolley so it's packed full of grocery items usually things that will probably be near to out of date or past the expiry date plus some fruit and veggies but um, it's a bit of a potluck so I've ordered that online and I will pick that up on Tuesday so you'll see what I get from Coles today and then there'll be another video coming on Tuesday after I've picked up my $25 uh, trolley full uh, and I'll show you what I got in that plus there was a few other things that you could buy online um, that I needed so um, stay tuned for the videos and I hope you um, enjoy them bye I'm back from Coles with my online click and collect order for this fortnight and um, I've upped my um, veggie intake so a lot of it is a um, bit of fruit and lots of veggies and like I said in the previous video I will be going to another grocery outlet store on Tuesday which I'm hoping will um, give me a lot of miscellaneous pantry items which will be good for um, mixing up the meals it's going to be interesting to see what I get but I'll show you that when I pick that up on Tuesday but this is what I got um, this fortnight so I got half a celery some spring onions a Lebanese cucumber or a long green cucumber a medium cauliflower which looks quite large two tins of t chopped tomatoes um, I've just got to say that I do love um, canned tomatoes and have them a lot in um, spaghetti bolognese and stews and different things but I find these 60 cent Coles home brand home uh, canned tomatoes are really good for only 60 cents and the only difference is they don't have a ring pull top so if you've got a can opener by all means you're going to be saving yourself 40 to 50 cents on a can of tomatoes um, I'm also going back to um, buying the um, tomato paste in a jar because I do like for convenience the boxed um, sachets of tomato paste there's four in a box and they're two tablespoons per sachet which is exactly how much I need but when I I, I figured it's only um, a dollar here or there but when I looked at the um, price per hundred mils I think it was nearly triple the price compared to buying it in a jar so I'll work out those calculations and um, share them with you in my Facebook group but um, keeping um, going with what I bought school lunches just to break it up my son said he wanted apples an orange um, I cut up half an orange to make sure that he eats it and just cut it into uh, wedges a red capsicum the baby gem lettuce I'm so impressed with they don't look very baby to me but they're that suits me fine um, they're really good value some mushrooms potatoes tomatoes um, they were on special this week um, half a pineapple for smoothies bananas for smoothies and lunch boxes some sugar snap peas for snacks um, two loaves of bread now my, I usually give my son ham or Vegemite or peanut butter for his lunches but he asked for um, this Devon and I'm not a big fan of it even though um, I had it a lot on my sandwiches as a kid but that's only $3.50 for a kilo 
Um, he can have it for afternoon snacks on sandwiches as well. And he said he wanted it with cheese and barbecue sauce, so we'll see how we go. Just a bit of meat to top up. I bought chicken breasts last week, just sausages and beef mince. Uh, my son's got some kids coming over for lunch today, so um, party pies and sausage rolls always goes down well. So I got them and then just the Greek yogurt. So all of this today came to about $90. I'll um, share that with you exactly how much that was. And then coming on Tuesday is um, around about $40, but I'll um, double check that once I get it all and share with you what I get on Tuesday. So stay tuned for that. Thank you. So part two of my grocery shopping for this fortnight is in the form of a $25, uh, I guess you could call it mystery shopping trolley full of grocery items and some fresh produce, um, plus a few other items that I selected myself that I needed and, and wanted that um, were at this particular place which was is called the lighthouse here in Brisbane and there's two um, outlet stores one at uh, Logan home and one at Hillcrest just southwest of Brisbane and you get a trolley of random grocery items for $25 so my girlfriend and I thought we'd try it out I just wanted to give it a go and just see you know if it was worth it or what you got for it and um you know what you could yeah whether it was worth it or not because i did um like you saw in the previous video i did spend 90 dollars um at coles because i knew that this was coming so um let's just show you what i got in the 25 dollar trolley first and and it was huge like it was um i've got one two three four big boxes that it all came in so um let's see these are two packets of tortilla chips in creamy feta avocado and lime flavor uh, some salted caramel and chocolate mud loaded muffins four little tubs of these vanilla bean biscuits a packet of two minute noodles in a thai um, tom yum flavor two large two liter boxes of long life milk which is what we have some Heinz um, bacon A's. haven't tried that yet some Doritos sour cream and chives dip pineapple juice three small tins of um, baked beans some Oreos and some dark hazelnut chocolate biscuits a bottle of lemon soft drink a full box of tea bags some infusions, infused um, uh, flavoured tea to go in cold water. A can of creamed corn. This is a bit of a mystery packet, but it's um, supposedly uh, fermented dried bean curd. So I'll look up, um, see what, um, if it's reconstituted, it might just be like um, tofu, which will be nice in a stir fry. And there's a huge big bag of hash browns there, frozen. Five little packets, individual packets of Sultana bran. Some pulled chicken, which I've not tried before. Two little tubs of yogurt, passion fruit yogurt. I think that must have added protein in it or something. Two little tubs of Chobani plain Greek yogurt. Some extra soft butter. Three pouches of this um, char milk tea in wild berry. Um, a tub of cream. Unusual blue cheese sauce in a huge bottle. I'm not sure um, what that's going to be like, but I'm not a fan of blue cheese, but I might like that on a salad. I'll see how I go. A packet of individual, individually wrapped banana muffin bars and then a dozen eggs. So all of that was only $25 oh and this huge big box of produce which looks really really nice there's probably about six or eight large sweet potato in there onions a whole butternut pumpkin 
pots of tomatoes, um, a whole bag of carrots, some potatoes, um, and some plums. So, and it all looks really nice. So, um, all of that for twenty-five dollars. So, pretty pleased with that. Some items for the freezer and the pantry, and then in addition to that, I think um, this probably cost less than twenty-five dollars too. Just three packets of pasta, just some spirals and two spaghetti um, noodles and then three of these pizzas which were three dollars fifty each and they are really really nice if you ever see these um, on special grab them because they are one of the best pizzas ever um, from the supermarket a really nice crust but they're like seven dollars ninety um, normal price so um, they're good for weekends then I needed some um, dishwashing detergent, some barbecue sauce, and then they also had, I thought these would be nice, um, yellow peppers with cheese uh, that are in oil. So that was probably about $25. So I think the whole lot come to $44.50, but I'll double check my receipt and share it on the next slide and share with you my total for this fortnight. But um, I'm pretty impressed with that if you're um, feeling like you're Groceries, you need a little bit of a boost, $25. Even this produce alone, I think, um, is quite good value, plus a few treats for the kids. So that's um, from the Lighthouse and their um, random trolley full of groceries for $25. So check how much I spent in total for this fortnight on the next slide. Thank you. Bye.